Welcome to this installment of the Excite Pro tutorial series. One of the most powerful methods of online communication, despite all the flash and sizzle of the latest web applications, is still regular old email. And it's no surprise that email marketing still forms the backbone of the majority of internet marketing businesses online today. If you're selling a product online, it's a really smart thing to establish an ongoing dialogue with your customers and prospects, building a trusting relationship over time. While spamming people is obviously a no-no, a regularly published newsletter and other correspondence lets users opt into your thoughts, ideas, and above all, product marketing. It allows you to reach customers in ways that web pages simply can't. So how to go about building a mailing list packed full of receptive customers and prospects? Well, there are two prerequisites here. First, you need a way of physically storing and managing potentially thousands of email addresses, and second, you need a way of capturing new prospects' addresses, with their permission of course, so that you can add them to your mailing list. The first problem has a number of solutions, but is generally best addressed using one of several reputable email autoresponder services, which manage the more technical aspects of administering subscribers and sending them your messages including powerful side benefits like reporting all sorts of statistics, as well as scanning your content to ensure it'll get past your subscribers' spam filters. These services are pretty reasonably priced, and trust me when I tell you that you don't want to have to track all this stuff manually, particularly as your list grows in size. As for capturing people's details, with their permission, the easiest way is through a special form on your site where folks can enter their name and email addresses. You've probably seen a million of these online already, usually with the heading, sign up now for our newsletter or something to that effect. This is the part with which Excite Pro is going to help you. Adding one of these forms to your site is easy. We'll place it here on its own dedicated sign up page. Now, just right click and choose Forms Wizard, or click its toolbar button. It brings up a seven step wizard the first step of which is choosing one of the services I talked about. You can choose between XMail Pro, AWeber, GetResponse, ListMail Pro, or just a standard email address if you'd rather handle the context manually to start with. You can use one of these links to get more info and actually sign up for one of these services. I use XMail Pro, so I'll choose that. The Style tab allows you to choose a basic style for your form from a range of different starting designs and a live preview shows up over here. This one looks good. On the next step, Background and Borders, you'll be able to customize your chosen form's width, color, and border details. I'm going to change my border color, and a new background color as well. On the next step, text, you can enter an appropriate heading and description, giving the visitor a compelling reason why they should give you their email address. I've got some text prepared, so I'll just paste it in over here. As with most text objects in Excite Pro, you can adjust font, sizing, and color information for the title, body text, and labels. Here on the Buttons tab, I can specify either a text or graphics button. And I can even choose an image from the extensive list of buttons in my clip art collection. The next step is very, very important. Here on the Settings tab, I need to enter the name of the list that I set up in XMail Pro that will house my subscribers for this particular newsletter. Now the name of my list is Mac Musings, so I would enter that here on the dialog, being very careful to avoid any misspellings, otherwise it won't work. Additionally, Excite Pro prompts you to select a thank you page, which can be one of your pages, or simply the one your service provides by default. Now choosing one of your pages can be very handy for rewarding subscribers with a special download or useful article when they choose to subscribe. Now, on the Finish tab, you can see a preview of the final form design, and if it looks good, just click Insert. Note that if you ever want to change anything, you can simply right-click its placeholder and choose Form Wizard Properties. Okay, a quick preview will reveal our finished form, 
ready for capturing details from new prospects automatically 24 hours a day, an essential piece of your online marketing effort.